Hey, how are you doing? I'm very happy to see you. You know, they said, they asked me if I would host Ellen, and then they asked me who I wanted to interview and who I hadn't seen in a long time. And I was like, you know who I want to see? Wiz Khalifa. Oh. <laughs> Because the last time we saw each other, Wiz, we had a pretty funny night together. Do you remember this? Yeah, I was at your house. OK, well, that's a good start. That's true. <laughs> we were filming a dinner party for something uh, for one of my TV shows. And we had a group of dinner uh, people at the dinner table. Who was there? It was you, me, Jill. Uh, Jill Scott and the homie from Imagine Dragons. Dan Reynolds, the lead singer from Imagine Dragons. Yeah. yeah Dan that's, that's who it was. And Shania Twain was there, too, because we lit up a doobie at the yep. end of the dinner. Well, you did, and that's and Jill did, right? Yeah, it was like in the middle of the dinner. Well, yeah, the dinner started to hit a little bit of a, bu bu like a, little bit of a slow bump, right? And it was getting a l it was slowing down. Yeah, naturally, like in the middle of dinner, I, I got to light up to like, it, you know, get my appetite back on. So that's what I would do anyway. Right, so we were smoking a joint. Shania Twain didn't want to partake because, you know, she's a country singer, I guess. And, and so she didn't want any. And we started to get, and I guess Dan Reynolds, the lead singer from Imagine Dragon, didn't have a lot of experience smoking weed. And my house is all glass. There's glass everywhere. So he got up to ask to go to the bathroom, or he said, I'm going to the bathroom. And then he walked straight into my glass door. <laughs> And ricocheted off, but the, the expression that I will never forget, which was the funniest, and I still think about it to this day, where you looked over, saw him hit his head, and went, ha <laughs> <laughs> I had to, man. Like, at first, I, I was really worried about his safety, but I don't think it came across that way, though. <laughs> Well, some people, Wiz, some people, when they're worried about other people, just start laugh, like they laugh out of nervousness. So maybe that was what you were doing. That might have been what it was. I, I might have one of those reactions. That's right. That's right. So wait, tell me about your son. I know he's been home. Have you been homeschooling him? Well, I mean, I feel like everybody's been at home with their kids doing the whole Zoom school thing and trying to keep everybody safe until COVID uh, clears up. But um, yeah, man, my son, he just turned eight years old. And this was his uh, second year in, like, you know, lower school. So he's in second grade. And it was it was fun. It's, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a task. It's been good, me working on one computer and him working on another computer. And, you know, I'm trying to, like, keep him from asking Siri for the answers and stuff like that. So it's, it's kind of cool to see his little, his little mind work and actually be in the classroom with him. It's, it's, it's cool. I like it. I like the visual of you and your son working side by side in a cubicle in your house. I mean, you know, who would have thought, right? No, no, <laughs> who would have thought? That's so cute. And also, the, the thing that I feel like about having kids is that there's so much pressure to actually end up having to explain and teach them things, which is what prevented me from having children, one of the 50 reasons. But. <laughs> When this, when the COVID happened and everybody had to stay home with their kids and start homeschooling them, I'm like, this is exactly what I feared when I was thinking about having children. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, coming no, true. Yeah, no, my mom just called me crying the other day, and I'm in my 30s, and she's still scared, you know? So it's definitely um, a lot on the parents and the kids as well. But I feel like in another way, too, it just gives us something else to get over and another story to tell down the road, so... Mm. I'll keep having babies. You just chill out, all right? Well said, Wiz. Well said. Uh, let me ask you, can you tell us about your show, Duncanville? Yeah, man, it's been really fun. This is the second season. Um, the first season I was on just as a guest, and my character, they loved me so much that they brought me back as, like, a, a, a actual character on the show. And it's been really fun working with the whole cast. His name is Mr. Mitch. He's like the cool counselor slash homies. Just he's just the 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 cool of the show, and it's it's fun to be able to bring that and um, have a good time doing something new. I love being able to just use my voice in different ways, and um, cartoons are one of my favorite things as well. So it's really good to be a part of that. Well, I bet they are. I bet cartoons are one of your favorite things. <laughs> Naturally, right? Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Wiz. Duncanville airs Monday nights on Fox. We'll be back.